My name is Scott Gabriel and I'm running for Man of the Year for the Leukemia Lymphoma Society. My son is now 11. He was diagnosed with cancer three years ago. It was during the summer of 2016 and my son was starting to have stomach aches. It was easily written off as normal kid stuff. He wasn't eating well. His energy was getting lower and lower. So we went to our pediatrician. He felt at that time it was due to his diet, did some tests and found out he was anemic. Quickly, they transpired into further pain into his stomach, low energy. We went off to the emergency room and was diagnosed with lymphoma at that time. Within a few days, we were starting treatment. The type of cancer he had, you know, was kind of a good news, bad news. From a bad news, it's a very aggressively growing cancer. From a good news, it responds well to chemotherapy. He was a trooper. He is now my hero. He smiled every day. Every picture I could show you of the time, he figured out a way to smile. He looks about it in a positive way. It worked for us as a family to find ways to laugh and get through it in a positive manner. He plays basketball, he's big into baseball, looks like a normal 11-year-old boy running around, having a good life. The challenging part is just the fear that it creates for the rest of your life. You live in a level of uncertainty. We know we're through it, but yet there's that risk always. You always talk about you don't sweat the small stuff as much, and I think that's very true. As a family, we've found ways to try and carve time out, even during the hectic life that we all lead, to try and spend time together. Some of the little things are a little easier to let go. So you do find very positive ways to, to try and spin some of this. Last year during the 2019 campaign, my son was Boy of the Year. They use his story to help campaign and raise dollars for uh, Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. I felt like it was a way that I was being called to give back after everything they did for him, the support they gave him last year. For me, it's about trying to raise dollars and raise awareness to try and create a better treatment. I don't know of anything that could be any more personal of a calling to say that I'm trying to raise dollars to help other children and make sure my child has a good future. The Parkview family has been extremely supportive from the day we were diagnosed. It was the day that Mike Packnett called me on the phone, lended his support. Rick Henvey um, called me probably on a weekly basis to support me. You know, everybody within my team here at Whitley and Warsaw were very supportive. We had t-shirts printed up that were to support my son. My entire team had those shirts on. The amount of support that I've been shown by the Parkview family, you know, it is family. So you just know that everyone there supports you. I think now the continued support is through our Cancer Institute is really trying to be a destination where we deal with families who are dealing with cancer and tying back into our whole family. So it really kind of weaves itself back into both the corporate culture and back into the organization.